This is a new one. It's probably going to be a little weird to some of y'all. Uh, it's about addiction. <clears throat> the fish who sees the bowl bangs his head against the glass while the others float by, diverting their eyes from the madness. Happy with their plastic castles and fake seaweed, they keep eating and eating and eating and eating. And he knows, oh, he knows there will never be anything more than this. There will never be anything more than this. So why would I quit? I'm an escape artist. I have a key. Why would I ever drop it? Why would I ever stop this? The rocks at the bottom? <laughs> what does that even mean? I imagine enormous slabs of granite, solid and strong, something you could push up on. But it seems over time that rock has been cracked by all of us who tumble into this bowl. The stone has been worn to dust. The more you flail, the faster it sucks you in. They say the only secret is complete surrender. But I don't surrender shit, ever. I took a handful of pills because one was a waste of time. I crushed and snorted because stomach lining is a detour and I do not need a scenic route. I need a crow road to blood brain barrier, this rusty sieve caked with breath cosmetic. I remember waiting. I remember drinking. Not like I was thirsty, but like I needed empty bottles, shards of glass to make me something beautiful. And I was going to be so beautiful if it wasn't for that cuckoo crawling off the clock and announcing my high wasn't coming the night the drugs stopped working i felt dead discarded left to rot my body an empty shell a discharged casing that just wouldn't reload my mouth a hatched egg my veins a sewer line that led to no escape i wasn't houdini after all i was a man with a coping saw and severed hands they say, if you crap in this hand and you've lopped off the other, eventually you're going to need a bath. So it was time to get clean. Time for the standoff with that delinquent cloud puppet who smirks at me in mirrors, me versus God, bare-knuckled and bored. I vowed to quit it all. No more drugs, no more alcohol. And I made good on that promise. Nine years later,